exactly where we're going there today um but we thought we'd just kind of go on a mystery tour we're gonna start off by driving to buxton and then because mum's hip's not good so we're not gonna do much walking hence why we're in the car um but yeah we're just gonna see where we end up and just drive and, and see what we can see we had quite a chaotic leaving as usual i don't actually know if my coat's packed in the car but i do have pair binoculars so you know you win some you lose some it may rain We'll see. Mum apparently has two coats, you'll be fine. But yeah, basically, <laughs> welcome to the video. I don't know where it's gonna take us, but enjoy. Missed the sign, but we have entered <laughs> the Peak District National Park. Um, ta da! gonna walk up mam tour because we ended up in the mam tour national trust car park so yeah <laughs> I'm stupidly wearing my it's colder we didn't because we didn't know where we were going we didn't really check the weather forecast and it was very warm at home and so i'm now wearing my dry clothes for later which is definitely a bad idea but i got a large blanket so i'll be fine and i found at home my gopro um that i got when i was like 14 it's really old <laughs> But I thought I'd, I may as well test it out and see if we can get any nice um, pictures. I can't really decide what to put it on. I've just got it on this extendable stick. Um, but yeah, let's see. Oh, wait, hang on. Say hello, GoPro. Oh my gosh, I can put both videos on at once. Wait, no, I don't know how to do that. But I'll flick. Say hello, GoPro. What are your initial thoughts? It's steep. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not actually it's that steep, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's cold. It's much colder than we thought. But actually, now I've started moving. I'm no, not I'm cold. Right now, yeah. It's just because you've also a bit got of a wind, puffy coat on. Just a little bit of a breeze. Oh, that's, it's a road. <laughs> I did not. I did not realise that was a road. No idea what this is filming. If we're in this, <laughs> oh, this will be a better view. It's a bench. Yeah, well, 
that's wobbly. That is wobbly. That is dangerous. Over there, how it's like coming from the clouds. I would say those ones over there, fluffy ones, if you can see them, you can't make them out, are cumulus clouds. And cumulus is just from the word for accumulated. And um, and yeah, you tend to get flat bottoms with like puffy tops on cumulus clouds. And I guess you could say those grey ones are, well, they're nimbus clouds because they're rain clouds. But I don't know. There's many subcategories and I haven't really learnt them all yet, but that's a rough overview. The cloud expert right now is gonna tell me I'm wrong. Just for informative purposes, this is actually a good walk if you're less experienced but want a good view because they have steps all the way up and it's quite a busy um, path so you won't get lost. Um, but yeah. And it's nice. It's nice, and it's easy to get to, car park right at the bottom, steps all the way to the top, and you can make it more difficult if you want, but you don't need to. But yeah, what do you think? For a beginner level walk, Mum? It's a good, good beginner level walk. And also, you really do feel like you've accomplished something just to get to a peak, and it's quite nice. Well, that was very windy. I don't know if you could hear anything in any of those videos. We just came down and got hot chocolate. And it's 100% plastic free, isn't it, Mum? It's 100% plastic free. I don't want to burn my tongue, but you know, it might leave it. I want to see the castle. That's it. Peveril castle. Also, <laughs> Maya, this is a, a hairstyle, isn't it? Half done, half not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. You can see up around the pool. There. That's where we went. went. Yeah. That's where we were. God, it looks really really tall from here but it, it doesn't feel it when you're on it <laughs> in the castle tent, which is a good gift shop, super cute. Okay, so we didn't go to the castle, but you could actually see it. Did you see it, Mum? No, I didn't. Oh, right. It's really it was it's just, on the top of that. Yeah, hill. it's just on the top of there. Basically, Peveril has this just like um, a tower, a square tower, and it's kind of falling down. But Mum has been researching and decided we're going to have a have a have a sedge. Have a sedge? Have a sedge. Um, I don't know what that is, but we'll see. It's not far from here. And apparently it's of historical significance in the literary literary world, is it, Mum? Yes, yes. You live there? It's based on uh, Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre. Which is a Bronte, one of the Bronte ah, sisters. The Bronte. And also they filmed the Kira Knightley Pride and Prejudice. So they there you are. Some, we, actually, we actually watched that recently with Danny. Yeah. Pride and Prejudice, they film that. 
they said that it's where she's standing on the top of the cliff. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love that bit. Oh, yeah, it's very dramatic. Like, I don't even know if that was Kira Knightley, to be honest. Like, it could have just been a stunt bubble. Because, oh, yeah. like, you don't go close. But yeah, she just stood and she's kind of, her dress is kind of billowy. 